today was the perfect example of having the right technology at your disposal even if it's costly it's so important for your trading like i had a really really good day but because i could scalp and i could buy and sell and execute my trades at price ranges that you cannot do with free commission brokers with your app or with you know web-based browser or brokers type of thing so yesterday the market was really sold off and today it was kind of a you know consolidation and usually the days that have such a big moves the next day you know everyone is really uncertain our watch list uh, for me my watch list was apple and amc the usual the usual suspects uh, and uh, they did sell off really really um, uh, especially amc after the market opened uh, so what i would what i did on amc i tried to catch a reversal on amc uh, the 39 level was a level that we had it was a moving average plus there was the low of uh, uh, August 27. So I tried to catch the first bounce on 39.50, and I did really bounce. I uh, got a really nice bounce on it, uh, uh, very, very, very nicely on it. So that's my first trade that I did from 39.50 to 39.70. That was a quick scalp, a couple of hundred dollars, nothing, uh, nothing crazy. And then after that, when it lost uh, that level, there, there were two levels that uh, there was S2 level that I tried to catch a bounce on it. I went a little bit early on it uh, in S1. I had to add a little bit. Uh, you know, when you get to this too, I had a bigger position here at 3880. I eventually got that pop like above 39. And then after that, I got out completely on it. That we had S level. These are uh, Caramilla pivot points that Thor has really worked on it significantly. And then we had the yesterday low as well. So yesterday low was at 3850. And I really wanted to catch this uh, bounce from that level, S3 and that level. And as you see, the huge drop below 3820, I loaded up at 3820 all the way up now to 39. I think Brian is also long here and I'm still holding some, uh, yeah, still holding some AMC just, just for fun. Overall, as you see, my day was really, really solid. So that um, that feel that you're seeing down there, I just got in. It's just, you know, you can't, you can't get this type of feel with brokers like, uh, you know, Robinhood or Vibu or Free Commissions or TD. You, you need to have a very, very powerful just uh, scalping tool. So that was it. I still uh, holding some. Uh, LCID was a trade that Brian really, really traded nicely at the open. It did, didn't hit my yeah. radar. Uh, Brian, how did you trade this? Nice. Uh, I just got into it as it was breaking out. He traded it through, uh, through 25. Yeah, so all the way up to 26. And I tried then, to go the long for the break of 26 because there was a huge ask, but I just got out because there's R4 is a very important level. In all of these levels, R4 and R3 and S3 and S4 are more important, so I didn't like it. Drop to the Viva. Brian has a, a playbook to buy on the pullback. We did go along in here, but I just didn't like it, so I got out completely. Did you again try to bounce for the for the move up, Brian, or no? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, yeah. I did try to play it through twenty six, but it didn't. You know, it started same with you, but it, we both it both kind of it just stalled out there, and it just pulled back, so we got out of it yeah. flat on that one. Unfortunately, I missed this last move, this V reversal, which was a nice uh, pop back up above 26 there. So, yeah, other than that, uh, really, um, other than that, uh, that was it. I had, uh, you know, as I mentioned, I mean, AMC, this reversals and AMC was really um, the only trades that I did. Small, small, small profit. I got some TQQ to, uh, for, uh, for the swing, and I want to hold that at the open. Popped up, sold some, added more, sold some. And I, from the previous day close, I launched TQQ, which is the leverage ETF for the Qs. And I got actually a very decent profit on it, and I still have some TQQ. I might hold, uh, see if, uh, what happens to, uh, tomorrow. Um, <clears throat> TNA is the leverage ETF on IWM, is not doing well. So we're just gonna go do some bag holding. And uh, yeah, on the other account also, I had some, uh, on the other, other account, I also got some uh, TQQ, as you see here from the previous day close. So, a uh, pretty solid day for me turned out to be uh, good, even though we really didn't have much to do. And AMC is still uh, struggling, so I might uh, slowly get out of AMC. Um, yeah, so there are a couple of changes to the community. As you know, Dr. Katz is leaving at the end of September, so tomorrow is going to be his last session. Uh, I'm going to, you know, having this town hall discussion with him, so come show him some love. Yeah, and today is the winner by me, uh, September uh, to, for 920 trade, if she's essentially a counter trend reversal. Uh, the Brian has uh, popularized in our community. 
yeah thank you so much guys and we appreciate a like or subscribe to okay. the channel because we want to organically grow we have some uh, really good uh, you know uh, products releasing soon for you uh, for the community and uh, get excited uh, and uh, yeah thanks for supporting us by writing the reviews for our books or subscribing or commenting engaging and being involved with us in social media all of these small things really matters and i really appreciate that every single one of you and we hope that we can help you to become a better trader.